I do think the split is interesting because it is splitting Republicans. It's also splitting Fox News. Brett Baer had that weird statement today about how nobody, nobody at Fox News condones the violence. Like, it's just weird. We're supposed to take these sort of coded messages like, oh, this is Brett Baer really taking a stand. No, you're not. You're prime time. They're getting the ratings. Tucker Carlson will get good ratings again tonight for doing this. This is the whole game that they've been doing this whole time where they have the primetime hosts do the loony stuff, get the ratings, and then these sort of, you know, bad men like Brett Mayer pretend they do news. It's, it's just such a total joke. And behind the scenes, Brett Mayer is, is, is like texting. <laughs> base like, Brett oh, Mayer. We, yeah, we should do more of what Tucker is saying. <laughs> right, right? Like, right. It's, it's not as if behind the scenes and the text and Dominion, that Brett Mayer is Peter responsible. That Peter Baker piece over the weekend, brutal. holy mole. I mean, Martha, sweet Martha, sugary Martha. Maples. That was something else, right? I, do, do he and Martha get out of this alive? Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah. You think they get out with their their like professional re- reputations unsullied? What because I, I would say, happen... even like normal, even normal mainstream people have always had a great deal of respect for those two, right? Like you know, non Fox hating mainstream libs and never Trumpers. Oh, like, oh, they're they're the good guys. They're the good guys. They're getting rich taking Fox money, but they're the good guys. I Is think that, that Brett has thing? lost only one thing. Like he's lost one thing, and. and I, what? You could imagine a world pre-January 6th or like 2024 presidential campaign, right? You're always – Chris Wallace was like this, the token, right? Like you'd have three right. debates and there'd be one that would – you know, it'd be Lester Holtz and then, you know, it'd be – right? And then you'd get a you'd get a Fox person to be part of the deal. And Chris mm-hmm. Wallace always did that. Brett was like the natural next person for that, for a general election debate we're talking about, not pri- primary debate. It'll just be all the freaks. Who the hell knows? Like Matt Walsh will probably be hosting a primary debate this time. But uh, <laughs> uh, the general election debates, like Brett Bear was kind of the next one up to get one of the three. I think this might cost him that, right? I just don't, I don't know. I think that there is just going to be widespread outrage on left. And if you're the Biden campaign, you're like, you're going to give yeah. me the guy who was texting trying to take Arizona out of my out of right. my camp with well, no evidence? How, that's my question. Uh, you know, there's this big, this big debate brewing for a long time. Should Dem- Democrats go on Fox News? And right. the consensus has always been, well, Pete Buttigieg is great. He should keep going. Yeah. How, how can they go on there now? I mean, until they start, you know, rolling some heads and axing some people, no Democrat should the- ever go on that network. We haven't even touched the the backroom stuff with the Murdochs taking the, yes. the ads, yes. uh, which is the the way bigger, right? This because this is a back of the house operation. This is like learning that the casino but is the like stacking is the decks. Or something. <laughs> right. Well, this is this is a real thing, right? I, I mean, if if you can't even trust them to be simply to operate as a business, as an honest broker, taking your money to run ad inventory yeah. without, I mean. Doing is what is essentially skunk works stuff for the other side, not just having your on air talent in constant communication with the other side, uh, but but having the the back of the house business operations do that. I mean, geez, Louise, it, it is a little bit like it's the Daily Worker or something for the Republican Party. I mean, it's it, Pravda isn't even quite right. It's much more like Daily Worker. And, I mean, it was no, they're was a it, part was, of it. Yeah, Jay Wallace so inside Fox. They said that Jay Wallace was one in one of those emails. I was like, yeah. Blue Dodge show makes the North Korean TV look subtle." Yeah, but isn't and Fox? That's what in they were saying about themselves. Knowing that you know all these networks, they make a ton of money on election night making the calls. How can anybody ever trust their calls now? They got rid of all the people who did the work. I mean, who is going to make the election calls now? They you can't trust a word that comes out of it. They might shut it down. Yeah, their election I think they might. Division. Well, what are they and what's there? Know. They can just uh, yeah, rely on AP everybody else. And, or criticize the, the AP, AP or not make calling. any calls. Yeah, just yeah. let the AP has called it. We, you know, who knows whether that's true or fake news. I don't know. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed that clip of The Next Level. You can watch the full episode if you click the link down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and uh, leave a comment. Tell us what you think, too. Bye.